This is Prince Harrison, IPB and NPC promoter and owner of Optimum Fitness and Optimum Fitness Supplements. We're here at Our Systems Gyms, which is close to Hebron Parkway and the Tollway 121, the Sam Houston Tollway. I want to thank the owners of the gym for allowing us to film here and do photography here. And uh, the owner is Chuck Kratulis, who's also an Optimum Fitness client and one of the strongest men in the world. I'm here with Joe Mackey, uh, someone that has been competing for several years and has, has become one of our top tier athletes uh, in the state of Texas and one of the, I would say one of the top tier athletes in the country. He's getting ready to compete in the Nationals, which is coming up in just a few weeks. And Joe, you're looking great. So how do you feel? Actually, I feel great to be three weeks out and uh, to be in good condition, low body fat. Um, I know the old, well, not old saying, but I know the usual saying is if you're not feeling like crap then you're not in shape but I actually feel like I'm in shape pretty good shape and I still feel pretty good so um which I uh, talking to coach John Meadows working with been working with him the last 20 well uh 17 weeks um prep has been good workouts have been awesome the diet I let him know from the beginning that I wanted variety I mean you know he's a uh, you know he's a uh, he's a he's kind of a whiz when it comes to nutrition so um you know kind of keeps your body guessing but I actually look forward to every single meal. I don't dread meals anymore, kind of like I did back in the day. So um, I'm feeling good, looking good. I feel like I'm in the best shape that I've ever been. And um, especially with being, you know, three weeks out and I look at things, I look at muscle maturity and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. And just to know that, you know, I'm actually a little, feel a little flat right now, which uh, that's kind of part of the plan, you know, cause we kind of cut back a little bit, tighten some things up. Um, but when we start adding those things back in to know that we're going to bring that full factor and stop uh, making last minute changes and going to the show with 100% full potential. I haven't been in a show in 100% probably since I first competed, but to know that, you know, kind of know what the problem is now, um, you know, to know that we're going to do 100% full potential going into the show, then I'm, I'm expecting a big outcome, you know, so. Um, you know, Nationals coming up in three weeks, so Fort Lauderdale, feeling good about it. Well, great. Well, that's a great uh, location. I uh, attended the show in that area several years ago, and so um, that was one of the shows where uh, I saw quite a few uh, pro cards issued, but now, uh, you know, they're issuing more pro cards, right? Yeah, that's true. I believe it's the, what? top two of each class that is correct so this show will have even more pro cards but i would say uh to balance that out it's also a tougher competition would you agree with that i would surely agree um you know just from looking at social media and you know you know different um channels and everything kind of see you know who your competition is but um i feel like you don't really uh, have your competition on mind you just really just kind of think of you think about yourself, you know, it's kind of kind of a selfish sport, but, you know, I could definitely be selfish in that matter because I don't really have, you know, anything or anybody else in my mind as far as competition goes. I just want to know that I'm coming in 100% and that's it. Right, and that's something I always encourage uh, athletes to do is to really, the main thing is to focus on yourself because uh, you can't really control how other people come in. You can't control what else happens, but you can control what you do and how you look going into the show. So as far as uh, we're three weeks away from that show, and uh, what are your plans uh, after the show? And I'm sure a lot of it depends on what happens at the show. Yeah, um, you know, to have high expectations going to have high, excuse me, sorry. To have a high expectations going into the show, uh, plans after the show, um, you know, from what I'm thinking, but it's just it takes time off after that, grow, uh, get bigger, get, you know, just overall, you know, muscle. You know, I'm uh, um, kind of like how me and John had that conversation, kind of like in all season. Um, don't want to just put on weight just to look good on the scale. Like, you know, I want to put on quality gains, you know, not just a bunch of uh, bulk, I guess you could say. So uh, regardless of the outcome, definitely take some time and put some more mass on, put some more muscle on, bring some bring some body parts up and just keep getting better every single year, every single time I step on stage. Well, that's a great, great goal. I would encourage anyone to follow that advice. The uh, 
As far as the uh, things coming up in the near future this weekend, we're filming this on November 2nd, and right now the Texas State Naturals is going on down in Austin, Texas, a Dave Gooden uh, production. Uh, that's an NPC uh, sanction show. And then a week from now will be the Lachlan Classic, which is November the 9th, that will be held down in San Antonio, a very old show that's been around for many years and um, has a, a great reputation. And, of course, Dave always puts on a great show. Then three weeks from now, of course, is the Nationals, where you will be. Yeah. And then we're coming up on Thanksgiving, which is this year is, is the last Thursday of November. So are you going to eat a lot at Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... You're gonna be. You're gonna go from being a super heavyweight to a super super heavyweight, right? Yeah, it's gonna get pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> All right. So we'll have to have an 18 wheeler bring you over the next <laughs> the next filming, right? Yeah. They, my mom, my, my grandma, grandpa, aunts. They know when it's when it's Thanksgiving time. They have this huge. It's not a plate. It's a platter. <laughs> so they set that out for me, and you know I don't like to have different plates with my food on so i'd like to have one big you know plate so i could eat get to everything at one time so anyway yeah it's going to be a lot of fun <laughs> for thanksgiving well, well that sounds great well we want to uh film you uh bef again before the end of the year after the show we'll bring our wide angle lens with us for that <laughs> and uh, is there anything you want to say to the audience before we wrap this up yeah uh want to give a shout out to uh definitely yourself often you know uh, you know yourself for taking some time out and shoot us over here at Oz systems uh often the fitness as well too and uh, i want to give a shout out to gec genetic edge compounds for sponsor um austin out there ultimate sport nutrition out there in arlington and um you know just everybody nationals coming up in three weeks um you know go and check out the latest video whenever we load this guy up and then also check out the latest video on musculardevelopment.com um kind of see some uh a chest and shoulder workout on there as well too and um just uh, you know just want to thank everybody for the support um uh, thank my lady over there Ari. uh could it hello Ari. <laughs> <laughs> um prep has definitely been a lot easier having the support system and uh motivator as well too um you know even being you know I guess you could say, you know, one of the, the top caliber athlete, you know, you still kind of need that push and need that drive sometimes because everyone has their days. So I uh, just want to thank everybody, my family, my friends and yourself as well. And, you know, just look out for us November 23rd, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And, you know, just expect a, uh, a showdown. Oh, great. Well, very well said. This is Prince Harrison for the Opera Fitness Channel. Stay tuned. Mmm. <sighs>